there are three reasons why we would use DNA technology today. Probably the most important one of those would be parent verification. Secondly, to, for calculation of genomic enhanced EPD, you can use LD, low density profiles, or HD, high density profiles. And then third reason why you would use DNA is for the genetic condition testing uh, to either prove or disprove that an animal is a carrier of a genetic condition that may be linked back to some of the Angus genetics uh, and then other breeds. So let's talk a little bit about parent verification first. We've migrated from a blood typing technology to an STR or single tandem uh, repeating technology which allowed us to have about 13 markers to parent verify to. Again, that was about a 0.92 accuracy. Although it was good, we had room for improvement. Now we've migrated into a SNP or single nucleotide polymorphism uh, technology that allows us to have minimal 96 markers and could be more than that uh, for increased accuracy. And generally we think of the accuracies for parent verification now in the 0.98 to 0.9 accuracy uh, level. So the SNP technologies we've migrated to today are much better uh, than we had just a couple of years ago in the STR technologies. So we highly recommend that you uh, move forward with the new SNP technology for parent verification. Important if you've got AI sires or donor dams, you need to have DNA profiles on file, so you might as well go ahead and parent verify to those. Now it's important to note that you cannot compare STRs to SNPs. So both the progeny and the parents must have the same test for parents to perform on them. So if you've got old uh, sires and dams that had STRs, you'll have to resubmit DNA samples on those uh, to get the new SNP technology ran on those. Uh, or you can just choose to run forward with just the newest progeny in your uh, herd and not parent verify to them, but use those as a profile of those new progeny and everything moving forward would then be uh, parent verified in the future. So really what we would recommend you do is to move into an LD or HD uh, profile. Uh, it would cost you a little bit more to do that, uh, but with those two tests you also get parentage SNP markers uh, at no additional cost to those. Uh, so what we recommend that you do a low density or a 24,000 uh, K panel if you're using Zoetis or a 30,000 K panel if you're using GeneSeq. Uh, those would then be imputed up to a 50K product that is used for genomic enhanced EPDs. Remember that with that LD, whether it's a 24K or 30K, you're going to get the SNP markers for parentage uh, to be used in the future. So if you've got a cow that's just producing one calf per year, we recommend that you get an LD performed on that animal. If you're producing seed stock bulls to be sold to the commercial industry, or maybe to go into a future uh, Herd, registered herd, we recommend you also to do an LD or a low density profile. However, if you've got donor dams or you have AI sires, you recommend you do a high density or uh, what we'll call an HD uh, through Zoetis, that's a 50K product, and with uh, GeneSeq, that's a 150K product. So if it's an AI sire or donor dam, we recommend you do the high density test on those cattle uh, so that you can uh, have, again, genomic enhanced EPDs. Again, if you're using an LD for those non or lesser impact cattle, uh, those will be imputed up to a 50K uh, for calculation of genomic enhanced EPDs. Uh, and thirdly, we talked about the genetic condition testing. Uh, probably uh, most of you are familiar with the Arthrogryposis multiplex or AM, the CA, which are fawn calf that goes back to the Angus, as well as the NH. Uh, we've also had a new one that's come on board as the DD, a developmental duplication. Um, if you have potential carriers in your cattle, then those can be tested as add-ons to the LDs and the HD test. So you could add those on at lesser cost than as a standalone test. So the HD or the LD, you can add on test. Let's say that they're DDPC. You can add the test onto an LD, for example, or to an HD. Uh, and get parentage results, get uh, uh, at least a result back for DNA status. Uh, would be pretty easy. Uh, and then, uh, probably most important, uh, you could have albinism, some of those other things that you might have uh, that uh, could be tested for as well. Uh, again, we'll summarize with those. You've got three opportunities to use those. First of all, is for parentage verification uh, using the SNP technology, or you can use it for genomic enhanced EPD uh, calculations, or lastly, you can use it for genetic condition testing.